So they'll be calling you a radical. So this is the thin-skinned, fucked-up fucking country that we live in, in the United States. So twofold. I'm cruising through. I, I watch European media. Uh, I see Putin has declared Deutsche Welles, Germany DW, which they've done fantastic work. They've uh, put up a lot of really great young journalists with camera crews that have gone in with the uh, Ukrainian fighters, and they put up excellent work on this bloodbath, which I named the March Massacre, the 2022 Putin's March Massacre Madness. So, all these popping up, these different YouTube sites, MSNBC pops up. And they got this so-called Russian consultant who lives in the United States. And, now, stay with me. Now, stay with me. They're going off like everybody's going off because Biden called a fucking butcher, a fucking butcher. I'm a butcher, what's a cow? I'm a baker, what's a cake? I'm an environmentalist. Well, why is this bad? Well, because the United States has insulted Russia. Now, I want you to think about this. They've insulted. Russia has just mass murdered how many fucking, including upwards of 20,000 of their own fucking men. Now, think about this. It's being reported today that by two workers inside Chernobyl that Putin sent the soldiers into Chernobyl, stirred up all at the Red Forest, didn't even fucking give them any protective gear. He's a mass fucking, I mean, don't insult a mass murder. Don't insult Genghis Khan. Don't insult Hitler, whatever you do. Don't fucking, what was that fucking monster in Cambodia, Laos? Pumpo, <laughs> don't insult these fuckers, whatever you do, you know. <laughs> don't insult Ted Bundy here in Utah, whatever you do. Don't insult fucking, I mean, unfucking real. Then I'm watching, you know, some of these old, aren't you sick of old basketball players running their fucking mouths like they fucking know what the fuck, I mean, because they bounce a ball? So we're on there, well, we've been all told to stand down, so we stand down on the Brittany Griner situation. If you don't know who Brittany Griner is, you know, I think hardly anybody knew who she was in the United States until recently. The six foot nine Bill Russell of women's basketball. Don't mention her name, because Putin would, might use her as a pawn. And when Putin's already fucking used her as a pawn. Now, just the fact she's arrested in the gulag, you dumb motherfuckers. Up and down. You're still waiting for the fucking main event. It's like Fukushima. Oh, we might get a nuclear disaster. We might get fucking blah, 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 fucking. Could happen. Might have happen. Have you fucking looked out fucking side at your feet? Have you seen the fucking... Are, you, are people so unconscious, this fucking country? You got $30 trillion in really out of control debt. You got psycho hyperinflation and Rand Greenspan, 0% stimulus interest rate for 20 fucking years. You got crumbling infrastructure. You got a murder rate off the fucking hook in this country. You got fucking suicide off the hook. You got all the soul fucking, I mean, don't drink the fucking water. And you're still waiting for the main event. Don't mention her name, because we still think Putin might be fucking... Uh, fuck well, it's an insult to Putin. Don't insult the mass murder. Okay, okay. Fucking thin-skinned motherfuckers. Are not, I mean, it's unbelievable what we've turned into. Don't call a butcher a fucking butcher. Don't call a mass murder. Leave him in power so we can fight him on American soil. You know, he's already said straight up that he wants fucking Russia. Yeah, let him fucking regroup his fucking yacht club fucking goons. Maybe they can buy up fucking shit of fuck. Maybe they'll buy the Knicks next. Well, fuck, don't they already own them? You know, they own fucking, I mean, maybe, maybe they can buy the fucking Washington Commanders. Maybe they'll buy the fucking Cowboys. How about them Cowboys? 
two worst franchises. I mean, they could buy that up, you know? I heard that fucking uh, 666, Jared, fucking he went to Jared, boy, might be selling fucking Times Square building. And they buy that. On fucking real. Maybe you can have Bezos and Gates and invite the Russian oligarchs to the next climate summit. And they can introduce Prince Charles as the keynote speaker, as their Lord say, in the grain washing machine. Fucking this place is going, going, gone. You know, now they're using the word Fukushima. Wouldn't say it for fucking 4,027 fucking days. Don't call a butcher a fucking butcher. I'm a butcher, what's a cow? I'm a baker, what's a cake? I'm a fucking carpenter, what's a hammer? I'm an artist, what's paint? <laughs> oh, fuck, the frogs have been fucking boiled nicely. Scorched earth. Meanwhile, back on the fucking Russian ramp. Pacific Ocean dies, stock market makes all time. I got some Bitcoin! I got some Bitcoin! What's your latest fucking Ponzi scheme sham? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. It's an insult. Don't insult fucking Putin. God forbid. And don't bring up Brittany Griner. You know, just let her sit, sit in the fucking gulag. <laughs> they might use her as a pawn. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. By the way, the war had already started when she went over there. Who the fuck talked her into going? Oh, that $2 million. The agent probably taking a big old piece of it. By the way, that whole Chris Rock thing and uh, Will Smith, I wish that punk-ass Will Smith had fucking slapped me like that. I dropped that fucker like a bag of fucking dirt. I can't stand that fucking creep. Who the fuck does he think he is? He goes up and insult. Uh, that's assault, by the way. That what he did, You, I mean, that is assault. What a fucking punk. We're bound to these fucking punks. Fucking, a charismatic version, he ain't even charismatic. I mean, what a fucking punk. I hope somebody sends it this fucker. Hey, fucker, you want to fight? I'm 62 years old. I'm 5'8". I'll fucking drop you like a bag of fucking dirt, punk-ass motherfuckers. That's the country that we live in. You can walk up and slap a guy and he fucking can't fight back. You know? That's who we are. Putin could fucking go mass murder. How many fucking people on the left's going to say... Oh, he insulted somebody. And the right's going to say, Oh, I'm going to put him liberating him. Yeah, fucking. <laughs> That's how I want to get liberated. My house fucking blown up. My fucking kids fucking killed. My fucking grandparents fucking murdered. And fucking, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's, that, that's how I want to be liberated. This fucking freak show we fucking live in. The fuck's the matter with this place? It's disgusting. It's disturbing. I don't know. I have to serve my grandkids. Don't call a fucking butcher a butcher. How many dead you figure are in Ukraine? The people I know in Austria that are real activists, they're saying 20,000 Russian troops upwards of. Dead. That's not Ukrainian troops. That's civilians. Remember, Washington Post was reporting 1,000 civilians. DW, you know, in Germany, they're reporting many thousands. Lots of organizations are pointing upwards of 10,000. My guess that dead is well over 50,000 in one month. But don't insult him. Don't fucking insult him. And don't mention, uh, you know, her name, Brittany Griner. Don't, don't mention her name. Because I think Poop just might find some kindness in his heart and let him go. Oh, fuck. Let's leave him in power. Let's leave him in power so we can just he can come back, regroup. Maybe, you know, when he attacks Poland or Romania or fucking Finland or fucking, you know, maybe he'll just come over here and fucking take Alaska, which he's been saying he's going to do anyway. You know? Make him get the Russian River. Make him make it to Moscow, Idaho. Fucking fools. You know, being he, Russia attacked, so, you know, I don't know. The 20th. Hijacker, 9-11, he's back at his home in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> there were Saudis, so we attacked. We killed a million in Iraq. How many in Afghanistan? Because some Saudi royals, I mean. Oh, fuck. But don't raise your voice. And don't insult Putin. Don't call butcher a butcher. Stay in tune.